Ah, you guys, welcome to Glitter and Garbage, another Ooh. glorious episode. I'm Justine Marino, joined today by two of my favorite people on the planet, the most fun people to party with. You know their shirts. Meth Syndicate, hey, it's yo. Eric and Rebecca. Hey. Thank you for having us of course. again. <laughs> no, I love you guys. You guys are so fun. You know I, our shirts. Uh, you know, our, you know <laughs> their shirts. <laughs> you know the fucking shirts. I wear them all the time. Oh, you, I mean. You actually really do. I do. All I the rep time. hard. I don't you even know, wear them. I give so many shirts away to like comedians and bands yeah. and stuff like that. And you're one of the best ones that reps it so hard. I rep it hard, man. We're, we're best friends with uh, this uh, band called The Vibe. Tiger Boys, uh -huh. and I give them all my shit, and every time they go on stage, the lead singer takes his shirt off. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm sponsoring the worst band possible. <laughs> they don't never, wear he, shirts. He's never worn it on stage once. He's like, he'll wear it up to the stage and take it off. And I'm like, hope someone caught you like That's walking out. That's so yeah, yeah. funny. But it, it works for them so well. Though, yeah, whatever, no, but. I love them. I think they're so cute. They I, are. I wore when I was headlining um, Oh, I thought Denver. you meant Viagra Boys. I was like, yeah, they're so cute. No, the, the shirts. The shirts. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. the Viagra Boys are adorable. Not as cute, but, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. The shirts are so cute. Oh. I love them. I wore the She Got a Great Ass. Oh yeah. To headline in Denver because my grandfather, who, who has since passed away, but he also had a great ass. He did. He loved a great ass though. Oh. <laughs> he had a great ass and he loved a great ass up until he would tell his caretaker at the nursing at the the assisted living home. Yeah. I say nursing home, but it was like of it was like the four seasons of nursing. It's home. better than our apartment. It's yeah. so nice. But um, he he would always tell his caretaker she got a great ass. Ooh. Damn. So I had to wear that Papa shirt. Papa Marino's yeah. got game. Yeah. Pops oh. Marino. I love how horny old men are. Dude, he just, I think he's just like, I'm almost gone. What, what do saying. I have to exactly lose? Exactly right. Like, I, you know, I love it. Shoot uh, your shot. Might be the last one you got. We, yeah. We watched, we watched a movie recently. I was debating with my friend the other day, like, when did the actual, like, uh, comedy movie die out? Like, yeah. nowadays, like, comedies come out and... They're, they don't hit as hard as they did no, when we were like younger. No, like the bear is a comedy. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, like just like weird yeah. stuff like that. And I like yeah. love a lot of new stuff, but I yeah. loathe a lot of new stuff yeah. as well. And um, we were talking about like you know the days of like old school or like Anchorman. Yes, or, you know. And I think it's part of because we're older. Yeah. So we didn't have that much content, so we stuck onto these right things and quoted these yeah, things qu because quotable, we didn't latchable. Yeah. Content. Every every time I go yeah. my phone, there's something just as funny now. So right. like it's spread thin or whatever. Right. But the point is, we were just scrolling a little stone the other night, and I was like, what should we watch? And Dirty Grandpa popped <gasps> up. Do you know what that is? I've heard of it, so yes. That, I don't know what year is, that came out. Is it with Zac Efron? And it Robert is. De Niro. Yes! Robert De Niro. <laughs> and, like, I would say, like, the old school, like, raunchy comedy died in, like, 2012-ish. Yeah, yeah. Around, this was, like, 2015, 2016. Well, we thought that it might have some kind of, like, that, uh, you know, that delay from the early 2010s. Yeah. We were like, oh, maybe it's in that same realm. This could be potentially, it had bad ratings, but we were like, you know, so does a lot of, like, comedy movies that we enjoy from that time yes, period. Yes, of course. So we're like, maybe this is something that we overlooked. Like, I can't believe we haven't seen it. We should watch this. And, oh my God, it's, it's it was like, so bad. You know, this isn't the one I wanted to talk about. It's oh, like, okay, no, but... no, no, no. But it's like, uh, you know, how um, John Cena just came out naked recently. Yes. And everyone on Twitter, <laughs> like right-wingers were like, he's getting shamed because he like sold his soul to like the Hollywood elite. Like, right, Like there was all this like weird stuff. Yes. It kind of felt like that. Because it felt like a movie where they made Robert De Niro be so aw like it was like horrible. Like he said the N word two or three times. N word, F full, word, full on. Like what, like, dude? Full on, dude. It, dude what? It, it's, crazy. it's like a study film. We were like, this is not a like, good movie, but I can't stop it watching. Mm -hmm. It is nuts. It's like that, someone had a gun off screen and we're like, say it, say it. <laughs> That's crazy. Wait, like inappropriate and crass to like, and, and, we, and we love that. No, shit, you guys. I just want to say they are so inappropriate and crass. Ex oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, all of us together, we are not we're all prudy. filthy. Oh you know, yeah, no, they are not prude at all. We love that. We love that yeah. shit. But this was so over the top and so. There was no wittiness to it. There was no humor. It was just vulgar to be vulgar. And it was shocking. Yes. So th that's what I have to say. Like, a lot of people give people, especially female comics, shit for being just dirty. It's just vulgar. And I think that comes from a lot of newer female comics being just vulgar for shock value. Sure. For me, I'm like, if it's a smart dick joke, I'm in. Of course. It has to have some, like 
turn or twist to make it a joke and not just like I'm saying dick and yeah. it's hilarious. Yeah, you know? they they try to make you feel sympathetic at the end. Yeah, they're like, oh, is the the grandmother just passed away and he's living out his final years of life. Yeah. Like we were bringing up the horny old men thing. Yeah. But the whole time he's just like making gross jokes about women and trying to fuck young girls and <laughs> it's stuff. So and weird, like in theory, eh? that's funny. But like the way they present it, that's it's like insane. It's, I was like, like I know how no one's seen this movie, yeah. but I want to tell everyone to watch it. Yeah. Just once to be like, whoa. Like, yeah. Paul Shear and Rob Hubel, I think, used to have How Did This Get Made podcast. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, this yeah. is a super contender for that. Oh, I'm like, yeah. How did this actually get made? Yeah. Because it is crazy. That is so crazy. And, <laughs> With two and, it's, and it's Robert De Niro and well, Zach Efron. Yeah. And Zach. Thank you for putting him on. Of course, of course, I love him. Zach Efron from Casino. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Casino. You guys, I was telling them about how last week I was fucking up all the movies. I'm like, yes, I was with two. 20 somethings okay so they didn't know what yeah. you're talking about they, in general I, oh because i told them <laughs> you guys major news you guys will fucking care about let's go taylor hansen followed me on instagram oh. that's oh. the reaction yes. i need Dude, yes i had a i oh had a God. hansen shirt so i have like folders of shirts that have never released sure and I was touching one up today and I'm like, it's not like it doesn't hit too hard. Mm -hmm. So I haven't released it. But mm -hmm. I was like some like people. I almost want to start Meth Syndicate, too, and just do my B sides. Because yes. they will sell. But I like pride myself on having home runs. You yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. But I had a um, I have a Hanson shirt that has the brothers and it just is the Band of Brothers logo from the yes. HBO show. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, someone will like that. I but, would love that. So just which one like follows you? Syndicate. The middle one. The, the singer. The hot one. The mm. singer. The singer. The Hanson boy. The one. Yeah. The one that I was in obsessed with you yeah. guys. I love the younger because if it was if it, oh, you like Zach but I was oh, also you're younger yeah I was yeah. also what's like the eight. uh silly goose older brother's name Isaac <laughs> oh, you don't have an Isaac follow do no, you no I don't have an yeah. Isaac follow I it's so crazy because I woke up and saw that because you know that taco truck clip I put it up again and it did like 17 million views. every time I put it up it yeah. just does an insane amount of views but um, I don't know if he saw me from that, but it said he followed me from a reel. Something mm. happened for Something sure. Something happened to a track, because he only follows, he follows less than 300 people. Could it have been Uncut Bangs? Could, that honestly? Could it have been? And can we talk about Uncut Bangs? <laughs> I have not talked about Uncut Bangs at all on this podcast. Let's do it, let's hear it. So you guys, I am so rude. I forgot, to, like one of your biggest credits, you guys. No, was... no, what's rude is you forgot to shout yourself out. I... <laughs> <laughs> We're in it for, for two Uncut seconds, Bangs. yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you didn't shut yourself out. This shit was awesome. I literally have not mentioned Uncut Bangs at all. You guys, um, Eric and Rebecca were in my uh, Shot for Shot parody trailer of <laughs> Uncut Gems called Uncut Bangs. They both did amazing jobs. We both wore clip-on bangs. They did. They literally Eric both had bangs. Eric looks so good in them. You really did. I'm you trying were, to get him to cut his hair for real like You were that. pulling off the bangs. It's, it's a rough look. <laughs> it's, it's funny for a day. It's funny, but it kind of worked for it you. It kind of worked for you. It was just like this like messy hipster, like, yeah. I don't give a shit. I just rolled out of bed. I'm not even going to touch up my I wore I wore a sleeveless flame as well so I think so the good. whole I think the trashy look in general oh, yes. really so was accentuated good. with the sure. bangs it was kind of a whole thing but that shot for shot though you nailed it oh thank you you guys nailed it. thank that. you yeah Adriano did a really good job and Mitch just he said something it was right when I got my bangs cut and he had just he watches a lot of movies while he's animating and he had just watched Uncut Gems and he was like what if there was an uncut bangs and I was like oh it's now it's I can't yeah, sleep until head. this I is made it. you know what I mean but did you give him credit or is it like the Facebook story where he just got like kind of swept under the rug? He got that? credit for the <laughs> titles he did. Yeah. But I'm the creator. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Mitch. Suck it. Sorry, Mitch. Um, no, he's so great. He's the best. And he has good ideas. We love Mitch. But he's a Pisces. He needs an Aries to come in and execute. There you go. You know? Um, but you guys were great in it, and thank you. Thank you for letting us be a part of it. It was very fun. It was so yeah, good. Even watching you and the guy making it with you, uh, I forget his name. Adriano. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, just, like, watching them. They were, like, location scouting it. Yeah, we were. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, it, like, they put a lot of effort into this. It we was did. awesome. Like, re-watching the trailer and being like, oh, how can we, like, do the bag swap? And yes, like, what's, exactly. What's a good parking garage around here? Like, what'd you end up using for that? We ended up, so, you guys, there's this one shot. And if you haven't seen Uncut Bangs or the Uncut Gems trailer, <laughs> either or. <laughs> go. I know not, not a lot of people are super familiar with the Uncut Gems trailer, um, but uh, you can go to my Instagram. It's on there. Um, so there's this one shot 
where Julia Fox hands Adam Sandler a bag through a window in like a tall New York building. And it's like an up shot. It's a shot from above. Oh, it's a shot from above. And yeah. so we were like, how are we going to do this? We need, because it's kind of hard. You need a, a window, window that you can, window, window to window mm-hmm. that you can like make it look like you're in separate rooms, basically. And you want, we want, we knew we wanted to do it either below or above. We thought below would probably be easier. So we went to the Grove one day to see if we could do it in the parking lot. But the space, the like, the thing between the windows was too wide. Yeah, you'd have to. Yeah. Like and it was like kind of dangerous. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> which I'm willing to die for Justine my Justine loves a little danger. I do, I do. <laughs> that movie's pretty dangerous. It is dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much do I want to commit? <laughs> um, but then Adriano remembered a, in the farmer's market at the Grove, there's a little upstairs area, seating area. Oh. And they have these windows that you can just open. That's oh, what it so was. Oh, so it wasn't even a bust. Oh, it you were like, large. yo, right next door. Yeah, we literally yeah. just walked next door. He goes, let's just go see. And so we went and it totally worked. Oh and God, then so good. we went at like, as soon as they opened in the morning so that we would beat everyone. And definitely um, did have to like run out quick <laughs> because they yeah we were getting followed for oh, sure i man. mean we did our scene in front of chase bank and luckily, oh my god luckily security was cool no yeah. they like, were chill but... you know but it was like you know like a pro looking thing enough yeah. you know what i mean and yeah. some people in hollywood just like every person is filming and they're just yeah. like fucking don't film in front of my yes. establishment yeah totally this guy was like cool you're punching each other i know <laughs> like he was so chill you yeah know? yeah for that scene i think because it was that scene i think because you kept getting repeatedly fake punched he was, he was <laughs> and entertained. everyone was just like yeah what's going well, on I, if i saw that i'd be like yeah but if i saw some tiktok guy like, like, like a dance. yeah yeah i'd be like <laughs> fuck out of here dude get out of my fucking place well it was funny because also he was giving us tips where he, he started to come out and we were like oh no are they gonna kick us out and he was like hey hit her like this and yeah. it was like, <laughs> he was like i will it. yeah <laughs> He's like, is that the taco truck girl? Fucking punch oh her. My God, there she is. Adam Get Sandler. Her. Yeah, exactly. Adam Sandler. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, well, Julia Fox and Lakeith Stanfield definitely saw my story where I tagged really? them. So really? that's cool. And yeah. the Taylor Hansen fall. You're already coming up. I'm coming up. The profits are raking in. <laughs> it's great. It's great. Full length soon. Full length. Full okay. Length. A24. Full indoors. length. Like hair. Oh, Let's come go. On. Yes. Oh my God. That's so good. Yeah. We just do hair parodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of them. Yeah, like I, one of my friends came up with Lobbenheimer, and it's oh about. Oh my a god! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, There's so many good ones. You just take the A24 logo and put an H, then the A, and then an IR. Yes. Hair 24. Hair 24. Yeah, yeah, yes. There's so many. I love it. Well, thank you guys. You were so great. In <laughs> it. Thank you for having us. And thank it you for excellent. understanding how important the Hanson follow is. I love. I'm. I'm low key jealous. <laughs> I. I will get like. I will get follows from like major league celebrities yeah. and I'll be like, wow, that's cool. Mm-hmm. And then I'll get a follow from someone that meant a lot to me as a child. Mm-hmm. And that's like tenfold totally. more important to me. And I'm like, wow, like this guy that no one gives a shit about followed yeah. me. But like <laughs> the guy from yada yada will follow me and I'll be like, neat. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's so true. Yeah. It's so true. Like obviously like a lot of big comics will follow me and I'm like, oh, that's awesome. But then like fucking you ain't Hanson. Taylor Hanson because sure. that was. I said this last week. It was, and these references meant nothing to these tiny kids. What's he been up to? What's he been doing? They're still doing, they're touring. Really? I saw them at the House of Blues a few years ago, like one of the last House of Blues shows. Oh, okay. so in Hollywood. In Hollywood. Yeah. So like eight years ago. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. on Sunset. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, a very, a very long, time, long ago. time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it weird how time just like, I can't, it's especially insane. moving to LA too, it's like a bubble of just like the same weather. Yeah. So like so 10 years has gone by and I'm just like, whoa. It's, it's like crazy. five. No, it's 10. It's so yeah. crazy. Exactly. Yeah. And like that was a couple years ago. It was close I'd to I say 10 the exact ago. same thing. I say a couple years and Eric's like, that was eight years ago. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. How was, yeah. The, how was the gig? It was good but i mean they were playing new stuff and i don't like i'm Woof. sorry no offense we i don't want that, that. it's no. like at bush you guys went to bush yeah 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 um mm-hmm. they didn't play anything from razor blade suitcase, razor blade suitcase. literally know. nothing from their entire second album which was one of their most successful albums i know that was romeo and juliet soundtrack yeah they had that. exactly like uh yeah uh greedy That's fly, actually pretty greedy. fly. They didn't play that yeah uh, I re- mouth yeah yeah like yeah. so many good songs yeah i Semi understand it, but not really. Yeah, they aren't on like a resurgence. Like they have a song on the radio like last oh, year. Like good for them. Yeah, like they're they're doing their thing, but like you know, Razorblade Suitcase has 
two hits maybe yeah yeah, yeah and i'm like just just sneak them in there yeah cold <laughs> contagious know? greedy fly and, so three yeah, yeah and mouth, mouth. Yeah. yeah so i'm like it's not like you're not dueling with 16 stone versus yeah yeah, yeah no, no, no. It's like just just tack those three Throw on it, man that's like, what i was you're saying. the headliner it's not a festival just it, play them exactly that's what i said to mitch after i was like it's not like they have so many hits like a. Uh, Madonna or like uh sure. you know yeah. like so 16 Stone had like five hits on sure. it but you're a headlining band you're playing like 15 songs exactly you do the math exactly you, know. you could have thrown them in you could at least one right also, none of us are here for the new stuff I Sh- love the shout out to shout out swallowed to cr- oh yeah yeah swallowed, swallowed. Oh, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> thank you Aaron I knew there was one more you yeah. guys swallowed is one of that's my like favorite the biggest, Bush one of the biggest songs. ones yeah, yeah it's so good Oh, what a banger. I've wanted to do Bush at the Jam sometime. I'm sure I'll get asked to we, do it uh, at we, 5 we, we know Sunday. one of the fellows. That's why we were there. He's a very oh, yeah. nice so fellow, too. I love him. Maybe we can him. make that happen in the sweet. future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, which... Uh, so after that show, I was... The, the bass player was wearing an outfit that was, like, almost identical to an outfit that I had worn. It was, like, a tie-dyed sweatshirt and a pink beanie. Yeah. So I did a Who Wore It Better... <laughs> And he followed me, oh, so cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we know uh, Chris, not to like overly name drop, but he's been yeah. in the band since like 2004 oh, that's or great. something. He's a guitar player. That's so cool. Yeah, because they're all new. Yeah, and he's a fan of Met Syndicate. And I oh, was like, that's so I was dope. Like, I love I loved Bush I growing love up. Bush. I love and Bush. And he's like, you want to come to the show? So me, Rebecca, and my friend Sean went, and it was, it was a great time. It's but. a good We had show. a really good time. Yeah, yeah, he's a sweetheart. I love, and what I like is like Bush, both times I've seen them, because I saw them in high school, and um, in like probably 2001, a couple of years ago. Mm. And just, a cu- <laughs> just a couple of years ago. Just a ago. few. <laughs> and then I saw them at Palladium, both in, in Denver, I think it was at the Fillmore, but they were both like intimate venues. Yeah. And like standing room, you yeah. know, which was cool. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, a lot of times when you see these bigger artists, it's like so big and the production. Sure. So huge. I yeah, like yeah, an yeah. intimate kind of vibe. So do I. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Yeah. And that's how the Hanson show was uh, as well at the House of Blues. Well, it looks like we're all going to Hanson VIP next we time they come to town. We are so. 1 million percent <laughs> going to Hanson VIP. I just, it was literally, it was Leo and then Justin Timberlake and then... Taylor Hansen like that was I had a Taylor Hansen that's another hot name in the news I know (laughs) transition (laughs) um yeah speaking of Justin Timberlake I know nothing about this other than you said this happened and I went okay oh my god find out I'm so excited so I randomly woke up it's like I had a sixth sense like Justin and I once you're obsessed with someone like you're connected (laughs) forever sure because I woke up for no reason at like 6 45 two days ago when this news broke and I woke up and I was just like kind of scrolling my phone about to like trying to go back to sleep. And I saw Justin Timberlake arrested for DWI. Now, do you guys know the difference? But what's D? Because there's D. Well, driving under the influence Und- is, DUI, is DUI. And, and then DWI must be driving while, while intoxicated, intoxicated. Maybe. maybe. Maybe it's regional. Maybe. Because it doesn't make sense that it would be two different charges. Charges, yeah. right? Well, a friend of mine a while ago, I believe she got a wet and reckless. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> That's the horniest fucking charge I've got charge a bunch of wet life. and reckless yeah, yeah, yeah. in my day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that... Yeah, you're always wet and reckless. War. I'm wet and reckless right now. <laughs> yeah! That's the war okay. charge. W-A-R. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, exactly. The war charge. That's way better. That's way cooler. <laughs> yeah, that's so what cool. What the fuck is wet and reckless? That's she not an on, actual she was on charge, PCP. is it? I think she was like just barely over the limit or something. Okay. I mean, then just let her go. Yeah, exactly. Let her go. It, she still had to go to AA and like pay oh a fine, but didn't lose her license. I, they should call that a BUI. Buzzed. Buzzed. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, exactly. Or no, no, it wouldn't be. It would be dr- DUB. DUB. A dub. Driving under. Driving under. Dr- DWB. Driving, driving while, while buzzed. buzzed. <laughs> I got a DWB We know right letters. Now. We got letters. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get one on the way home. I no, love come it. On. I love it. We Ubered here. Yeah, you Ubered. We're you drinking water. Good. I'm just kidding. You guys are water drinkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a show. I mean, we do monthly shows at the Comedy Store bi monthly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. no, no, two, two a month. Two with a each month. other, you're there all the time. Yes, but with yes, each yes. other, two a month. Um, but last one, someone filmed me uh, walking from the backstage out to the front patio to yeah. go hang out. But I had my full beer with me, so I was walking it out and like posted it, and I was like, "Can you take that down?" Because I don't think the comedy store would be stoked that I'm leaving the venue with a beer <laughs> and walking down the walking sidewalk. Like, the like they're not gonna give me door. shit in person, yeah, but I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. definitely don't advertise that on the internet. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a cool video, like you know, like yeah. high five and people, yeah, shit, like yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I was yeah. like. 
the last thing I want is them to be like, you fucking piece of shit. I know, like, what are you I doing? Know. Just go around, you dickhead. After like, everything that you've been... Oh, I gotta watch my crotch. I know. After everything She's you've been reckless to today, guys. <laughs> war, the... baby, war. <laughs> oh, my God, war. Um, I got spoke. I got reprimanded last time at the store for what? Justine? For smoking weed on the patio. What the- who said on that? On the patio? One of the door guys came up and was like, "You can't smoke weed on the patio. You have to go to the back." Are you fucking kidding me? That's all we do. I know. That's what I said. I was surprised. <laughs> well, He's like, I'm, a, I'm so sorry. I'm a vapor. Maybe he you was are a new. vapor. First off, maybe he was new. Who yeah. Knows? Yeah, maybe. Second off, you're there all the time performing. I know. Shouldn't really be an issue. I when I, I but also what what are you doing? Just smoke backstage, bro. Is it illegal though to no. smoke on the well, patio? I think maybe. I think technically it is because it's like even though drinking is legal, you're not allowed to have a beer in your car. Right. Where it's like smoking is legal in the privacy of your own home or like backstage or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's when it comes to like like liquor licensing yeah I i'm sure it's something serve, like that i think there's an actual bar out there oh that's right sure oh right because when we went to uh the, the it's separate the woods the woods yeah yeah it's they like, didn't serve it yes but i will say and like i'm not like trying to like narc on this guy for calling you out but like we're always smoking out there i know everyone's Someone always just smoking decided out there. to pick on you we <laughs> literally like, smoke in the back and hot box the fucking yeah, green room maybe maybe you know, this is me giving the benefit of the doubt, but maybe there's like a chain reaction with that. Yeah, because like, other well, like if a comic starts smoking and then like everyone starts smoking, yeah. then yeah, like, no, shit. I get it. I I totally it's get like it. The, Next thing you know, someone's smoking a blunt. It's the same reason you can smoke at home, but you can't light up in the back patio of a bar. Well, that's right, what I exactly. Just say. No, well, that's not selling it. Just in general, it's it's private property. But sure, sure, sure. I think no, just no, no. The, I didn't mean like selling it. I just meant in general. You can, there's like a specific. There's a licensing issue there. Even sure. just for selling I think it's it, watching not for just selling Yeah, it, right. I think, look, it's so funny, though, because, uh, you know, I'll just sit on my balcony and, like, smoke joints back to back. And there's just people walking by, and it's just so funny. You like just spit on them. I just spit just on like... them if I want. <laughs> Dude, I, I went to Universal Studios yesterday, <laughs> and we get through the gate to get checked in, and then we're yeah. going through the gate to, like, actually walk in the park. Yeah. So, like, we're the the globe is that spins oh i know and it just oh yeah you, you were know there. The oh I, I'm um, so, so yeah so i'm already i'm through security waiting to get in yeah and someone just like just instantly started smoking a blunt in that what? middle zone the whole place re- reeked like weed and i was like that's ballsy dude that's like there's like literally cops with dogs and guns and shit and yeah. i was just like dude that's why do i smell weed right now and just seen some dude over in the corner and i was like just you could have done this anywhere. And everyone's except looking for at you being like, it's that guy. Yeah, yeah like, it's definitely sure. that it guy. It looks right like there. that yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've never seen anyone smoke weed at Universal. I've seen a lot of other stuff, but never I mean, we smoke a lot of weed at Universal. But vape. vapes. 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 Uh, yeah, exactly. Vape, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, vape, like, It's just cares? ballsy. When you, like, a light blunt. up a fucking blunt. A blunt? It's just it's a yeah, little there's ballsy. There's no getting rid of that smell. Yeah, no, As much as you think you are, like, Whenever I'm like, oh, I don't smell it that bad. I'm like, because you've been smoking weed every day for 10 years. Yeah, like, it's yeah, part yeah, of your yeah, body. Yeah, 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 but yeah. other people, like, faintly are just like, yeah. Boom. Can we pull up the Justin Timberlake mugshot? Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's yeah. what we were talking about. Oh, oh my boy. God. Okay. So he just like he was crying. I know. Or, like, he's on a lot of different things. <laughs> like, first of all, okay, so Justin got arrested for a DWI, whatever that means yep. to you. Um, He was in Sag Harbor. Apparently. That's. Uh, Hamptons. Is yes, that what it's it in was? the Hamptons. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, which uh, I love Sag Harbor. My parent, my grandparents used to have a house there. My okay. fun party, party grandpa pops. He they built a house Papa there. Papa Marino. Pa- Papa Marino. Um, Dirty grandpa. This yeah. head. This I. I almost said headshot because the lighting is so good. It, it, I mean, it almost we, looks like a headshot, right? Like, what is this lighting that's being used at the Sag Harbor Police Department? He looks so sad. He does look sad. He's like, damn it. Aww. So he looks I, like a YouTuber with those lights in his eyes. Yeah, yeah he does. Like, he's doing <laughs> yeah, a yeah, fucking, he's like, like hey it's guys. a ring light. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. hey, guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Here's how you drink and drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little scary. I mean, look. Here's the thing. He, I'm surprised it took this long. Like, I've always heard that he was a bit of a party guy. Sure. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I guess apparently he said he had one martini. But when he got pulled over, I think he ran a stop sign and wasn't staying in his lane. So oh, it's like, buddy, that's buddy. not one martini. But he refused a breathalyzer. Okay. Yeah. But then failed the sobriety test. Oh, God. Yeah, and was taken in in handcuffs. Oh, and allegedly, there were a lot of rumors going around, like 
like there was one I want to read that's not true. I'll make that very clear. But it did make me laugh very, very hard um, because a lot of people did think this was true. But this was an actual headline that was going around. Justin Timberlake allegedly had traces of Molly, Poppers, Truvada, and Coke in his blood. What the hell? Following his DWI arrest in New York. Like, and yeah. that was like hours after it happened. And he was wearing a Pizzagate shirt. Exactly. Yeah, what a scumbag. <laughs> Just <laughs> everything. Yeah, oh, yeah. Justin Timberlake's on Poppers. Yes, dude. exactly. Yeah, I yeah, know. yeah. Rich, one of the richest entertainers of all time just like scored some Poppers. Yeah, exactly. He scored Poppers. And they've also done a th- done a test so fast within hours of him being arrested. Yeah, they, the they got those back. results so quick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I thought that was so funny because people actually believed that. Like, even here, it's a survey and it says, like 60 percent of people say yeah sounds yep sounds believable oh my god like is there any other context around his evening out there right now so yeah like where was he he was at dinner with friends okay and then he left with his parents with his parents (laughs) exactly um he left the restaurant and it says uh, he was charged with driving while intoxicated after allegedly driving through a stop stop sign. Court documents said Timberlake was stopped at 12.37 a.m. Eastern time after police saw him blow a stop sign in a gray BMW and then failed to keep to the right side of the road. Like, oh, sounds no. hectic. Sounds a sounds little a chaotic. Little and I think it was pretty close to the restaurant, so he must have just, Ugh. yeah. Went out hot. Gone is, out. It, is it like a, or, go ahead. Sorry. No, I was just going to say, like, you've got the money. Like, get a car. Get yeah, exactly. Uber. I'm not going to, like, lie and be like, oh, I've never had three drinks and then, like, drove home from the comedy store. Sure. But there's a difference in, like, three light beers and three or four martinis yeah it's well, a little rough also i don't think if but you i have... sympathize with him it sucks no it does suck it sucks. but also it does sound like he had way more than one martini yes. especially if he refused the breathalyzer yes. yeah right mm-hmm. but I... although i do think if you had just had one martini and then blew a breathalyzer i think you might still i'm not at a so bar till twelve thirty seven. Having a drink, exactly. Yeah, that's true. That's too. so true. But I do sympathize for him because I give my wife that I only had one martini excuse all the time, and Who I always, doesn't? I always look like that. Who does? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You that's wish you, wear, you wish you looked like that. Like, why is Eric always no, in glasses? You wish you looked you don't want like me. that after. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got sexy. <laughs> <laughs> he looked, you brought sexy back. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so. Uh, it's it's such a like crazy thing. But oh, here's the other thing. The person who pulled him over was allegedly too young. They, they so young they didn't know who he was. Yeah. Oh my god! And so I guess, and again, this part I'm trying to get to the bottom of if it's true or not. I, I hope saw this tweet, it is. I yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it said, I, I guess Justin said under his breath, uh, "Oh no, what about the tour?" And the person arresting him was like, "What tour?" And he goes, "The world tour." <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm about to tour uh, the world. Man. Yeah, oh. exactly. Which, like, I thought about going when he came, but I was like, no, I'm still yeah. mad about Britney. I uh, can't. I was, uh, I know that everyone's like hating on him a little yeah, bit. But I know. I'm like, but I want that, you know. I know. Uh, it I like was, it. Yeah. I, I like it, though. We were, we were laughing earlier that uh, his wife, Jessica Beale. Oh, that was that article uh, that I saw. Yeah, it was like. Very it, disappointed. It, yeah, and oh, it's my like, God. You could tell it's like, it's New York Times. Like, it's half damage control. Yeah. And half, like, it was like. Jessica Biel very disappointed in her husband. I'm like, imagine writing a news article. It was like, stoked. My I husband got arrested for a DUI. I'm yeah, so proud of him. I hope he's <laughs> also wet and reckless. Yeah, yeah. he's the best <laughs> drunk driver what a, what I know. A, what a moot news story. I'm like, yeah. really? Oh, it's she's also a little just bummed out. Huh? Like, news, really. It's like, not, who cares? It's literally like they got a picture of her leaving a coffee shop yeah. looking sad, not, not yeah. smiling. And they're like, she's disappointed. Yeah. She must be mad. They were. It was funny because it did show pictures of her the next day. She was like on set for a movie and she was wearing for some reason this like renaissance outfit <laughs> and like it's just like oh and someone wrote in the comments because the internet is just like there's Foul. no beating. Yeah. They were like what Ren fair did she get interrupted from <laughs> yeah. like this God. DUI? Oh my God. Um, which made me laugh so hard. But yeah, I was like, damn, Justin's having a hard time. Like his new album tanked. Uh. You know, I don't know how his tour is doing. Maybe it's doing well. I don't. He's I don't going know. through it, man. The poor I guy. To, I listened to the new album. D- was it good? It, there's like a trend going on where people are trying to keep up with modern pop. Yeah. I think modern pop's super stale. I, I think agree. It's, I think it's formulaic, and I think there's a lot of talented people out there, but there's like a formula, and there's no bangers anymore. No. There, once in a while there is, but like a pop song on the radio now is like the same shit over and over. And yeah. It seemed. It's soft. I, I listened to the hit on that album. 
and it's not a hit. It's a great song. Yeah. But it's not a hit where it, I'm like, just it's monotonous. Yeah. I'm just like, it, but the, they're trying to stay relevant. And yeah. Young and, I don't it know. is interesting to hear like, you know, Dua Lipa came out with this like really cool new kind of groovy 60, like 70s, like disco. Love sound. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That so was cool. very new mm -hmm. when it first came out. And now I feel like a lot of people are just hearing piggybacking that. off. Yeah, of exactly. That. Mm -hmm. Or like um, Sabrina Carpenter, who I, I like. I think she's cute. I love that she's I dating. hate her. I love that she's, she's married to my my Barry ultimate. Barry Keoghan, mm -hmm. or she's dating. Not oh married, my god, sorry. he's like he's obsessed so with her too. He only him. follows her on Instagram. I think it's. I love that whole heart that like hard launch. Me too. I think it's yeah, yeah. so hot. I'm I don't obsessed. actually hate her. She's very talented. She's very beautiful. Here's, but I love him. Here's so much. why I think he's probably so obsessed with her because he's a he's not a tall boy. You know, she loves short I Irish love guys a short that look king. a little slow. I love yeah. a short king that look a little. <laughs> But interesting. She, she's like four eleven, <laughs> so I'm sure to him. Oh, she's tiny. I'm sure to him, yeah. she, she feels like six four with yeah. her. You know? Yeah. No, they're a very beautiful couple. I think they're so cute. I love it. I'm obsessed with how. I mean, he was at the Taylor Swift concerts with her with friendship bracelets on because she opened for Taylor Swift, oh. and he had the friendship bracelets on that said Sabrina. Like he's been all about. He's yeah. like every teen girl's wet dream of what a boyfriend is. That's pretty cute. Yeah, it's cute, right? Cute. cute. Ugh, well, whatever. But, no, you know. look, I I, for, I forgot my Rebecca bracelet. Yeah, where's oh, my yeah, bracelet? Where's the Rebe yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What a fucking nerd. I'm going to have those made. Nerd, What right? a fucking kind nerd. Of, honestly, yeah. kind of that nerd. guy has all the money in the world. I He's like, like, I made you a beauty. Like, I wouldn't have like the that. Yeah. No, you it's not, no. You're not, no. Get a face tattoo. Get a Barry. Yeah, fucking, if, you're, if you're really committed, really get a face commit, tattoo. Really commit, Barry. Yeah. Put your craft on the, the line. The guy went to Claire's and he's the boyfriend of the year. I know, I know. But he, he literally <laughs> follows no one except Sabrina. Yeah. I was like, damn, this is a hard launch. And I respect it. But her music, it's, fun. it's cute and it's fun, but there's something, and it's like groovy, but there's nothing, it's not, not like a slave for you. It's not like a... There's nothing sure. that hits at home enough for me yeah. to be like... I like her aesthetic and me I don't too. dislike her music. But again, there's nothing that hits it home enough for me to be like, that's a fucking banger. Exactly. Like that's a pi pop icon. Yes. That's a totally, legend. Totally. Yeah, I agree. I haven't gotten that, but I've gotten that from Doja Cat. I've gotten that from Dua Lipa. Yeah. I've Dua Lipa that, for sure. You know, obviously Lady Gaga and then like going backwards, obviously Britney Christina. Like yeah. All yeah. That yeah. Shit, they all but, had like a song yes. that was like, oh, this is them. Yes. And I think like Espresso, her song, everyone's like. I actually haven't heard that one. It's cute, but it is softer. It's not, it's like. See, I don't like that. that that's, I don't like that pop. I don't, that's I, what he's talking about. That's that yes, soft pop. Exactly. Even the new Taylor Swift that's, album no, is like. Oh my God, no. Boring to me. It's, so just, it's boring. a little boring. And they all, even though they all sound different in their own way, they all sound the exact same. They do. They same. sound the same. Mm -hmm. And look, hers is like a little groovier, but I like a more hip hop, like. My favorite Britney album, Britney Spears album, is the Britney album because it was produced by the Neptune. So yeah. it has that more like hip hop y yeah. feel, yeah. you know? So I just. A little just bit like, more of an aggressive punch to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah I yeah, like yeah. a little bit more mm -hmm. edge. And yeah, that's a, why a banger is a banger. Exactly. You know, it, it slaps harder than my stepdad. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Shout out to shit. Tom. Yes, Tom. He'll never see it. He'll literally never see it. <laughs> What's up, Tom? <laughs> that's so funny. But yeah, it's just like. They, they're like the choruses don't hit anymore. Yeah, no, it's not like, and also a lot of not enunciating. Yeah, you know? it's that mumbling. It's that like kind of soft spoken, yeah. like I saw that. So yeah, bad. and I'm like, yeah. I can't do it. I know, I can't. Like because it all again, I know I already said it, but it all sounds the fucking same. It, it does. It bugs me. There's... So when new artists do that, that's what they were raised on. Yeah, yeah. So everything we like is because of our age of and course. things that happen. But yeah. when legacy artists try to replicate like replicate younger stuff yeah when they already have this stuff under their belt yeah I'm like what Just are you like, doing and, yeah totally. enjoy your own style that you've got going on for you that's like, what i'm saying make more in sync songs please right now the world needs it make we more ex tina more make some X -Tina. bad christina make like, some britney know. let's 20, is this like what is this boomers and garbage yeah like, boomers like, and garbage yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like back in the day like you could have a, a pop song like that and you're all singing along dancing yeah. together yeah and it's just like some weird like you know, like eat my ass or like Lana Del Rey, like eat my put, like just weird. Yeah. Like there's no just like not that I want things to be safe in that sense, but like there's no just genuine like this is easy. Like bye 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 is the chorus. Oh like, yeah. Yeah. Singing, yeah. Now it's like all like it's, but, but, it's but, like but, trying but, too hard, yes. but it, it be, might just be out of touch for us. No, we're yeah. just getting old. You know, like <laughs> yeah, no, it's like true. Nirvana's classic rock now, and our parents thought that was 
the noisiest shit they've ever heard. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I wonder what they think now. That's so crazy. You know, like, it, it's funny because at my grandfather's funeral, we did a sing along to his favorite song, which is That's Life by Frank Sinatra. I wish you, oh I wish you said something else besides that. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. It was toxic. But no, that's, but that's what it got me thinking. I was like, what would my funeral song be that everyone would sing along to? And like music. Like a virgin. Like a virgin. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. WAP. You yeah. know, now we're all going to yeah, join yeah. in for Justine's favorite song, WAP. What ass pussy. <laughs> Macaroni in a pot. You know? Yeah, instead of instead of a line of people going up to like kneel down and pray in front of your body, it's a selfie line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love you, bitch. I love you, bitch. Love you, bitch. <laughs> R.I.P., bitch. Let me fix your bangs. Oh, my God. Yes. Bangs, bitch. Yes. Oh, my God. Ugh. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Like, I would, but I think it might just be what you're saying is like music. It is. Because I was like, so our music of our time is not nearly as like my it might be rolling for me you know that's sure. not gonna be as yeah. like um just classic and like um like classy as frank sinatra you yeah. know what i mean but i do i think in a weird uh context like a weird way this all worked out is that limp biscuit rules again yeah yes like their music was like everyone was like it's dated yeah and it's not dated yeah. Yeah. everything else is dated like Goddamn eagle eye cherries yeah. dated. Not, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Biscuit, like people were like for a while, for for like over a decade, it was I ironic to like Limp Biscuit. Yeah, and like they're no, just now as they're cool like again. Back now, I'm so excited because like it just worked itself out. It's so great. You know I, mean? I love well, it so much. Everything's cyclical, even fashion. <clears throat> of course. Like obviously, Y2K fashion is back right now, but that's also based off of the 70s. You guys, so. I yeah. went to a Y2K birthday party a couple weeks ago, and when I was when Mitch and I were shopping online, it was literally just all current stuff just that clothes. was popping yes. up. Yeah, just it was just clothes. urban outfits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's what is back again. But I remember being like growing up with Y2K fashion, and I remember my mom being like, this is very similar to what I wore at your age because Y2K took a lot of influence from the 70s. Yeah. So now Y2K is back in fashion in the same way that 70s-ish style was back in fashion when I was a child. Right. It's all cyclical. Well, it's like... It's so weird. Flare jeans in the early yeah. 2000s. Those were just bell bottoms. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. Exactly. They just come up with new words for it and are like, we made this. Yeah. yeah. What, whatever you go into an Urban Outfitters, whatever they have going on, you have about two months left. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah. they're always late. Yes, they are yeah, late. Yeah, yeah. I know. I haven't gone into Urban in a long time. I just feel like Nana trying to dress like a baby prostitute We just when walked I in, in there. there the other day and I was like, <laughs> oh, I was like, look at these cute pair of shorts I was like these are short shorts but they're cute they're like real little and I picked it up and it was a top and I was like oh <laughs> I was like I gotta get out of here <laughs> I, was like, I thought they were shorts and it was like they were so small but it was just a little like I mean, whatever though. I can't judge. I love showing it. Yeah, who, yeah, you, cares? who cares? If who you got cares? it, show it. Your legs look amazing. Oh, stop it. They look so good. Uh, it was a top. <laughs> Uh, it was a tom. <laughs> You're like, this is my top. <laughs> I always go in uh, to Urban just to look at the graphic T-shirts that are popular. Oh yeah. yeah, you know, and it's so funny the trends. Like last year was like fake NASCAR shirts. Yeah, and this year it's like going back to like just a single word, like ba stripes. Like every shirt up there looked like a rugby outfit. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm like oh, a yeah. low stripe stripe thing, and yeah. I'm like. I'm not gonna wear any of this shit, dude. Like, I saw a shirt in there that just said Boston on it, and I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck? Boston's trendy now." Just Boston. Is it on it, yeah, just just Boston. Like it looked like a college shirt, but it just yeah. said Boston. You know what they don't have yet? Sucking penis T-shirts. Oh, oh that's that's what I com, baby. I, know a guy. <laughs> I sucked a stranger's dick <laughs> in the Bass Pro Bass Shop. Fuck you, Urban Outfitters. You yeah. suck. <laughs> <laughs> so funny Culture I love vultures. it I love it so much They're the best I have so many friends Who are like You know Meth Syndicate Like yeah, Girls guys All of it Yeah I'm like Yeah that's my uh -huh. homie yeah. Girls huh It's mostly like 35 to 50 year old Men with kids They don't see anymore <laughs> I have some girls I have yeah. some girls Yeah Yes like my cousin <gasps> follows you. Okay, oh, yeah. She's cool. She's a, and she's like 32. There I we think. go. New demographic. New demo. <laughs> um that's hilarious. Wait, what are you guys listening to now that you're enjoying old like or new? new? Oh. Old or new? Mm, Cuz you know I what I got it after the Y2K party. I was like I I was like, "Oh, there was a whole other era." Like mostly at the this party it was like the the top 40 hits, you know, okay. like Britney it, it, and it was mostly gays there, so it was. I did Limp Biscuit as karaoke, yes. and I was like, I was like, who loves Limp Biscuit? And no, no one, one was into it. Limp and then I 
committed and crushed so hard that by the end, everyone loved Hell Limp Bizkit. Yeah. You You're changing lives. I am changing lives. But on my way home, I was thinking I used to go to a club all the time. There was like a 16 and over club, and I got in at 15 because that was cool. We used to <laughs> Where did you grow up again? Denver. <laughs> Sick. Denver, exactly. Like a sixteen-year-old club. It was a 16 what does that mean? Over. Denver sounds like it was way more exciting than then <laughs> when we were. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys were just in the wrong place. You got to come to Denver with so me. I know, so I know. I'll go have with to you. Come I'll with go with me. you. I hated it, but I'll go with you. You got to come with me. I'm going to show. <laughs> Everything you the was way. beige. Everything is pretty beige. Where the fuck I will am say. I? No, I, I got you. Okay. But we used to go to this club, Rock Island. Any for the fifteen-year-olds? For the fifteen-year-olds, the, the, the dance arena. You could get, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You could get in with like a an what Saturday nights you could get in with a sixteen with a high school ID. So how we all late went. was this? I'm sorry. How late was this place open? To? Till like two, I think. Oh my god! It's weird. That no, is so crazy. It's weird. Just like, yes, it slamming, is. Slamming pops all night, like. <laughs> What do you do? You Until drink. 2 a.m. Is there an age maximum? Pro no, there See, wasn't. See, that's, that's the problem. problem. <laughs> that's the problem. He's like, I know where we're going tonight. That's the fucking problem, yeah, yeah, dude. Because yeah. like, if it was like a safe space for ages like 15 to 17, yeah. nope. even that's uh, dicey, the, the Rockies but... game just got out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. It's around the court. It's walking this I had a feeling. <laughs> that's... You want to touch these cold mountains? Hilarious. Whatever the Coors Light slogan fresh, is. No. Fresh mountains that's here. So but, but I'm happy for you. But, no, but oh, we yeah. would go and dance, and there were a lot of creepy people. Uh, <laughs> and a lot of young people but I think a lot of the people who really went like for clubbing sport would be like oh that's the teen night and they didn't sure. want to go because they didn't normal serve regular normal people. people yeah but I would go and they would play this do you guys remember the like techno of the early 2000s like Alice DJ yeah of course yeah, they yeah, do yeah. I love that the, shit I completely I was like this is ATC a around the world exactly yeah. all around the world all around the world all around the world that was ATC Oh mm -hmm. yes, that one's Def Punk. I love that song. Punk. Yeah, cool. and then do you think you're better off alone? Love that, it. Oh, that era is like so. This is I have, a whole, I have a crazy playlist that I made that I'll send you that yes. has all the Britney, all the Christina, the Natasha Benningfield, love. the Sarah Bareilles. It has all of that, but then it also has the Alice DJ. Yes. and it has ATC. It has all of that. Labouche. Labouche. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I thought. I was like, oh, that was like a major area that was missing in this playlist. Yeah. That's the playlist party. that I put on when I'm like angry La at Bush work was and just 90s, like change. It was, it was a little more 90s. It whole, but it's still gap. 90s. It's the same vibe. Early it's, 2000s. I think they would play it there. Of course sure. they did. It's yeah. still yes. transcended. It's transcended. Thank you for mansplaining La it Bush. to me. But um, I'll give you the playlist anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Please give me the playlist. You're about 10 years off, sweetie. <laughs> I was also like two years old when that came yeah, out. Yeah, I'm impressed you know all that. Because you're you're are you 90. five? I'm 90. 90. Okay, yeah, you're five. I'm years 90 younger, years old. She's 90. Doesn't she look she good, you so guys? Good. Wet and reckless. It's all the baby's blood from the Colorado Kids Club. Yeah. <laughs> the dance club. Thank, thank you, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> thank you, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> you know what's crazy is I was thinking when I went to a Justin Timberlake, or not Justin, excuse me, an NSYNC concert back uh, in the day, but it was mainly Justin and sure. the other guys. But I Justin and the other guys. <laughs> sorry, was, sorry, Chris. Sorry, it was Justin, JC, and the other guys. Let's be real. Yeah, yeah, sorry, Chris. But I were a what baby. What happened to Lance? Oh, Lance. I do He's love Lance. He's doing fine. And Joey's doing they're fine. All they're all doing like, great. They're on cable. They're all the other one. They're all on cable. Chris? Chris. There's four. Do you know any of them? There's five. five. So there's Justin, JC, Lance, Joey, and Chris. Sorry, I was a Backstreet Girls. Backstreet oh. Boys girl. Okay. Yeah. All right. The closest I know to NSYNC is impractical jokers oh really <laughs> well they always joey. had the joey on all yeah, the time yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, joey. Yeah, yeah that's the only kind of, like i've never met someone from nsync oh i've met jc i've met lance lance has done this podcast before <laughs> seriously yeah really? lance has oh, done the podcast. which seat was he in he was in he did it when it was zoom so it was during the pandemic get out of here i know right <laughs> <laughs> but lance has done lance also judged my dance show at the belly room I did Oh yeah 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 way yeah. back in the day he was great um yeah no but not the TV show literally just that's came all, to the belly that's belly amazing for free. yeah he was so nice cool guy. super nice Hell yeah. was making like funny jokes about like you know oh where's Justin oh he's under my ass you know what I mean sure, sure, like, sure. just like funny had a really good sense of humor yeah um and then I think that's it I've only met J C and and then I was behind Justin when he was dating Cameron Diaz at Jerry's Famous Deli. We were waiting for a oh. table. Yeah. Um, so I got like in and proximity. And you were like, don't drink too much. You're going to get a DUI yeah, I was like, one in day. In 12 years, <laughs> yeah. you're going to get a DUI. If, so do you do you think NSYNC's going to get back together? It looked like it was leading up to it and then it like stalled. So here's, I have a lot of complicated feelings about mm. this. So <laughs> buckle up. <laughs> buckle up. 
First of all, I'm still mad at Justin, not only for Britney, but for fucking over NSYNC. Like, for those of you who don't know, the listeners know, but, like, I watched a YouTube, like, two-part video. I called it a, doc- a documentary. Everyone made fun of me because it was literally just a woman in her house, like, going over all The, the leader of NSYNC, Justin, yeah. gave it out in it's, like, yeah. it's like a BBC doc. It is. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I called it a documentary. The alpha singer. I, yeah, 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 I'm making it way more prestigious than it was. I love that. But it was all about how, like, Justin, when he went off to do his solo career, they, he, they, the record company told NSYNC that it was just going to be a brief, like, pause. Sure. And that yeah. they were all going to be coming back. So they waited around for, like, a year and a half, oh, two no. years. Oh, that's so messed until up. He, until they realized, oh, he's good on his own. And that was justified, right? Yes, yeah. justified. And so then after that, he just never came back. And in this documentary, I, one of the members, it may have been Lance, I'm not sure, but someone was saying, like, hey, we just wish we had known. Like, so yeah. we could have gotten on with our lives. So, like... What's really unfair is, as an NSYNC fan, we all thought they were going to be coming back. So, yeah. like, sure. Justin, give us what we've been waiting for for 20 fucking years, Justin. You're gonna you might get, have to They're now. all going to get, like, five million apiece to do and, that. You know exactly. what I mean? Like, the and, Misfits get a million dollars a show, and that's a punk band. And like, also, like, sorry, everyone would go see NSYNC. I don't think uh, people have such complicated relationship with Justin just because of the Janet stuff, because of the Britney yeah, stuff, yeah. because of all this stuff, the, you know, cheating scandal with his wife a few years ago, like where he was like holding hands with that woman uh, at sure. a bar when he was filming that movie. It would do, do him so good to like go on tour with it well, and sing even, you know him, even him solo at this point is millennial core exactly is there, there's not yeah. young kids championing solo justin exactly. Timberlake. it's the same yeah. audience exactly you could do both you could play justified shit and have nsync come out and I, do a I set have them come out I, if, whatever I, if nsync would have been i almost went to see justin at the forum when he was here like a few weeks ago just on the chance that nsync might, might be there come. yeah it might show I, they, he would they would be making so much money the merch everything like i just don't know what's stopping them. You do that for years. I think it's Justin. I truly mm. think it's Justin because remember Ariana Grande on her Thank You Next album, she sampled a song from um I think was it I think it was it was one of the it was the second or third NSYNC album. She sampled a piece of it and then at Coachella she brought everyone out except Justin. And uh, so oh. it's kind of seems like he's just like never. Two different teams. He's just yeah. never down. He thinks he's above it or something. Weird. It's so weird. It's like, weird. He had, they both have bangers, but I'm saying like just do it both. Do it both. And oh, also, man. I just think people would be more sympathetic. People would be more eager to forgive him if they're like, if oh. If he just did it. Yeah. If he just did it. Like, it seems like a no brainer to me. But I don't know. Maybe hopefully this DUI might be the step in the right direction. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Need. He might have to do it. He might have to get back into good graces by doing something right. like that. I'm waiting on Spice Girls. That's oh what my I'm fucking God. waiting on. Eric has promised me front row tickets if they go on tour. I want it on the record for people to hear this and be able to I will back it up when it happens. Go a million percent. But Eric has promised me front row tickets and I'm dying for them to get back together. I thought they were going to. It felt like it was going to happen last year. Well, I think Posh kind of cock blocks them a little bit, right? Not that I could do it without Posh. I couldn't, but she doesn't <laughs> even sing. I know and I she love doesn't her. Sing, she doesn't even sing. She brings the vibes. You know what they I mean? They all have such good vibes that if the only way that I could see the Spice Girls was sans Posh, I would still go i think i couldn't do without the others have you seen and i love her don't get me wrong i love her no this is a safe space yeah thank god no it's fine i just i love posh i people no i I love her i I love her so much you look just like her (laughs) (laughs) which one am i I don't Jerry. know. Interesting. Sporty, right? Sporty. Yeah, sporty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. No, you're so Jerry. I'm a ginger stan. Yeah, you're no a ginger. No question. Yeah. I have been my whole life. Yeah, I've always liked posh. Hair too. aside, I've always what liked What about ginger. me, guys? You're baby. Baby, for sure. You just look exactly like her. <laughs> you look her. exactly like her. <laughs> yeah. You're so cutie. Look at the camera. Make a face. Wait, <laughs> have you seen Spice Girls Live? Like, from their last like back tour? in the day. No, have you ever seen them? Have you ever seen oh, them? Oh no, no, I have no, no, no. never seen never? them. Never, never. I got to the s- only top band I saw from my era of growing up was Backstreet Boys. Oh, okay, so that was the only one I ever saw. Um, Backstreet's good. I've seen Backstreet Boys like five times. Twice. Yeah, live. I met them all the second time. Really? That's that's a story for another time. Oh, okay. Um, but that, uh, yeah, that was the only one I got to see. 
Ugh. Never Wait, saw NSYNC. Never what saw. What did you do with the Backstreet Boys? A yeah, lot. What did you do? <laughs> a lot. It was interesting. I got a. What was it? The war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, got, yeah, yeah. I got a war charge. <laughs> oh my god! What yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> true. She got the war charge. I'm pretty sure. I you definitely got, got picked up by security. Yeah, you got dragged out, out. backstage. <laughs> That's so funny. After the sex. <laughs> After all the yeah, yeah, sex. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the Backstreet Boys sex. Oh my god. I love it. Yeah. No, I basically I had a pass from a a dude I knew that was in a band. I had a backstage pass that he'd given me and he was like, whatever you do, by the way, I'm like 19 and this guy's oh, like yeah. funneling alcohol oh, down my so throat. You just, you just graduated he was like, from what? Rock Island. Exactly. To yeah. Children's club. Oh in yeah. Just leaving the children's club, <laughs> getting shoveled, funneled booze down my throat by yeah. a very older man. And he's like, whatever you do, don't use that pass to go backstage. I was like, yeah, whatever you want. The second he wasn't looking, what did I do? Yeah. I took that pass and I went backstage mm -hmm. and I met all the Backstreet Boys and they were all so nice to me. Uh, everyone was so sweet and they were like, do you want a photo? And this was like, I didn't have an iPhone or anything. This was like 2009. And uh, I mean, it was really nice. I had a, it, they were all very polite with me. And then somebody had noticed that like I wasn't one of them and yeah. like I was just a random person talking yeah. to them. And a security guard came over and was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, I know you have that pass, but that's supposed to be for the VIP section, not technically backstage. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's okay. Like, I'm almost done. And I'm just like talking. He's like, no, you have to go like right now. And I'm wasted. And I was like, no, like, no, I don't. <laughs> and he just picks me up like by my waist like this, carries me and plops me right on the other side of the curtain. And he's like, please don't do that again. He's like, it's fine, but please don't do that again. And I'm like, okay. And that was oh, it. Oh, wow. But they were all so nice. They were so sweet. I've heard they're really just like nice. a wasted 19 year old. Like, oh my God. So like, cute. They're very nice. I love that. I wish I had photos. I do too. I still had like a, I didn't have an iPhone then. Yeah. Sidekick. I still had like a bad. No, I never, I never era. had a sidekick either. I think I still had like a Nokia. Mm. Oh. I had like a lame phone. I didn't get an iPhone until like the tens. Really? Yeah, I'm maybe 2012 to... was my first iPhone. I think it came out in like 2010. Yeah, I... yeah, my first iPhone I think it was 2012. Yeah, I'm I don't even to... know what my phone was now that I'm thinking before the iPhone. I was a. I, was I couldn't a... take pictures on it. Wait, I know that much. Were you a sidekick? Oh yeah. I wanted yeah. a sidekick. I wanted a sidekick so bad. But you had bad. to have T-Mobile for sidekick, yeah, right? I had, yeah, I had that's why I never had it. Swoopy black hair, a purple sweatshirt. I was skinny. I had my sidekick. Oh cool. my god. T-mail me. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was so cool. I love it. Oh, I just loved how it popped up. My was... fucking trackballs. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, but, yeah, it bro. It was so cool. I'm really cool. like losing my mind trying to figure out what my cell phone was before an iPhone. Now <laughs> I had a bunch of weird ones. Remember the flip phone? Oh, that's what it was. The razor? It was like yeah. the razor. It was the a razor. razor. I had a razor. Yeah. Mm. Yes, because Nokia was my first cell phone. Yeah. With snake on it. Yeah. Oh, a snake. Yeah. Do you remember snake? Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. No, I had a sidekick. <laughs> oh yeah, you know. <laughs> Sorry. Come Sorry, on. Paris Hilton. Yeah, it was yeah. the flip. It was the razor. That's what I had. The, yeah, the flip was I had, like good. a blue razor. I love a flip. Yeah. And then I had one that like popped up. Oh. It was white. I ne Ooh. I really never saw anyone else with it. I think it was a Samsung. Yeah. And it was just like it was so dumb because it iPhones came out in two thousand seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thank I didn't you. have one until later, Aaron. okay? I, I didn't I didn't know that either. I, I might have had the iPhone two or three, and I didn't know. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think. I think I probably had the third. I know one. a lot of people with iPhones before I actually had an iPhone. I didn't get one until I could like pay for one. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's tough. It well, now it's so easy. They just like put they a just, monthly. They just yeah, do they it a do monthly. monthly. Yeah, but back and you then, just can trade your phones and then yeah. it was different then. It's so cool. Oh, back in our day. Back in our day. Back in our Boomer day. and garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so I imagine because Mitch was not a pop guy. He was like a punk guy. Yeah. So I imagine you guys probably have like similar tastes. So like when all that was happening, were you like in the TRL? I feel like it was very like Limp Biscuit versus NSYNC or you know what I mean? I was mean? listening to bands called like Shit Bastard. Really? And toxic Anal narcotic. Cunt. Anal cunt? Like I like I I still listen That's to psycho music. Yeah, anal cunt from Boston. Rest in peace, Seth. And he like loves them. <laughs> Someone's gonna see your podcast and be like, "Did that dude just shout out anal cunt?" Like, <laughs> I shouted it out. A quest <laughs> questionable anal band. Cunt. I'm not agreeing with their lyrics, but yeah. But um, you know, it was like horror movies. Like when I was like 14, 13, 14. Yeah. I want to see the most psycho shit. I want to listen to the most psycho music. The older I got, I'm like, I listen to I listen to Neil Diamond this morning. <laughs> And made coffee. Yeah, like, I got out of bed like, <laughs> yeah, <sighs> like Neil Diamond's played on the record. Yeah, there. I was like, what a nice way to wake what? up. That but, is nice. But really back then, Neil Cunt's a great way to wake the, up. The too. craziest shit <laughs> that I could consume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would listen to. So I yeah. was, I was kind of 
completely off the rails. Yeah. Like, I liked Limp Bizkit and stuff like that. Like, I was, you know, yeah. but I listen to psycho shit, but I dated girls that listened to NSYNC and all yeah. that. And I, uh, From the kids club. Yeah, and I lost my virginity yeah. <laughs> to uh, you plus me equals us. Oh, my Together? Together, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, you know, I know, because it's. Um, I, I, we must have talked about this before. But Chris Kevin, Farley's brother, Kevin right? Farley. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's married to a very good friend of mine. I yeah. know, I know Kevin. Wow. Tell him your friend lost his virginity to his voice. I absolutely. <laughs> well, that's when he busted. That's right, right at the insane. high note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, because like you know, I'm like, I don't. It was like you know a special moment, but like yeah. it was both of our losing virginity, but yeah. like the girls more like you know whatever, and yeah. I'm be like. I know my calculus. calculus. <laughs> like, it says you plus me well, equals us. And that, like, that song speeds up halfway through, yeah. so that you gotta switch it up. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh my God! Wow. Also, didn't know what I was doing, so I'm sure it was just like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still just like that. Oh my God, dude! I remember this is sharing too much. I mean, we talked no, about please, everything, but we can say anything. Don't I worry, remember, it's not going on the internet or anything. No, no, no. But I remember. Because I was like, I'm going to wear a condom. Yeah. You know, I'm not an idiot. Like, yeah. Got a condom, but I didn't know the difference between condoms. Yeah. So I got the red one. Uh-huh. That means unlubricated. Oh, my God. Oh, God. So I was just like, it took forever, dude. I was already nervous. Unlubricated. It was like putting a balloon on my dick. Oh, and I'm 14 my years old, God. dude. And I'm just like. 14? 14? Yeah. Wait, how old were you when you lost virginity? 16. Okay, I was 17. 16. I was yeah. either 16 or 17. Was I was, really I was like from fresh I was from yeah. Weymouth, Mass, and I lost my virginity in the projects. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Weymouth. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I talk about this a lot, but I lost it to the nickel, the not Nickelback, but Chad Kroger, Hero. Yes. Yes. That's. A, do you know? Did you lose it to a song? No. Not to my recollection. Oh, no. it looks scandalous. I can feel you just went somewhere. Did you see that? You went somewhere. I know all of this stuff. Already. I yeah, yeah, yeah. like don't really have. So my memory is is like horrible. Mm. I've always had like a really really bad memory. Yeah, it can't be but, that bad. But <laughs> like, I, don't like, I, I don't know. It just happened. No, no. Like I I really I can't like recollect too much of it. I just remember that we were at like a family party. My high school boyfriend and I. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So, no, 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 okay. No, you're yeah. laughing too hold soon. On, you're laughing on. too soon. All right, I'm pulling this up. So we yeah. are we are at like a, some kind of like a family party, and my aunt and uncle lived down the street from my mom and dad, and we were like it was like a Christmas party or like New Year's Eve or something, mm-hmm. and I remember telling my mom. Like, my high school boyfriend and I, we had, like, decided, like, okay, if we can get out of this party and go back to my parents' house, we're definitely going to fuck. Yeah. Like, it's just going to happen. Sure. Like, we'd been dating for a while. Like, it had been, like, a year at least yeah. at that point. Yeah. We were like, tonight's night, we're just going to do it if we can get away. And I can't remember the exact details, but we we were able to leave the family party, and it was, like, late at night. I remember it being, like, 11 p.m. or something, but everyone was still at my aunt and uncle's house. And we literally, like, went to my parents' house and – they had like a basement that was kind of finished, but mm. not really. It was like yeah. kind of like whose house was industrial. It? My parents, I've been in that basement. you know, like my parents' basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we fucked, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, but like we, I just remember putting on the TV and like we were like gonna watch a movie, and then we're just like high school kids. And we were like, I guess we're just gonna fuck now. Yeah, and we like had sex. Like there was a condom involved. Luck, you know. Thank yeah. God for that. But it was like just like the most unromantic, like basic on the carpet sex so quick so unmemorable that i can't remember if there was music or what was on the tv and it was wow. just like instant like instant like so unmemorable i'm sorry he's no. not he's not watching he's this. not watching but you didn't uh, name names. no that'd be so <laughs> funny though that'd be so funny that would be so fucking funny no and it was just like so unmemorable i really don't have like that beautiful memory Mine moment wasn't beautiful let me tell you no but like there's not even like i have no details other than Hers i remember being like... on the carpet like getting rug burn and just like oh, doing it no. fast before my parents got home oh. was... like just trying to like get it out of the way i yeah. love that ki- like the tv was on and it was quick i hope you lost your virginity to like a clorox commercial <laughs> Yeah. Well, like <laughs> Sullivan Tires yeah, yeah, commercial. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> mine MTV was no, on. No, so boring. And that video came on. The Spider-Man. So oh, like yeah, fucking yeah. Tobey oh, Maguire swinging God. from, and then Chad Kroger <laughs> singing. And then I'm Couldn't like, even get the decency to get fucking laid during Nickelback. You I did know. a Chad Kroger solo song. I did a Chad song. Kroger solo <laughs> song. Like what is wrong with me? I was very hammered. Nah, dude. Mine was, oh, really? Oh my God. I was so drunk. Damn, I was dead sober. Oh, I drank like a full 12 pack 
of Corona that night and then yeah. drove to school the next day. Fuck. Sounds like a normal Tuesday to me. Yeah. It was. It was a Tuesday. <laughs> it was like I was living as like a mid 30s dude as yeah. a 17 year old. <laughs> <laughs> At least you like remember it though. Like I was sober and I still just have like very, very small recollections. Oh of it. yeah. I don't yeah. remember like details. I remember those specifics that I told you, but like I couldn't tell you anything. Yeah. About. Yeah. My memory's just trash. It's I, always been. I remember a lot. Even that's a testament to my tolerance too. Yeah. Because like 12 coronas is a lot. I oh, mean, yeah. it was over that's the whole a night. Lot. And I wasn't blacked out. That's, and I remembered. Oof. Yeah. And now we don't drink anymore. Now do we? I don't drink anymore. <laughs> But you were so good at it. I was it. fine. You were so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Now I just do weed and mushrooms. I know you guys are like, you're sober. And I'm like, hilarious. I'm like, tell that to Mitch, who yesterday <laughs> we're on a hike. And halfway through, I'm like, wow, I'm really on mushrooms. And he was like, what? <laughs> it's like Tuesday. It's like a Tuesday at 1 p.m. Yeah. Chad Kroger and Josie Scott. Thank you. So much, Aaron. What? We don't want to forget. I don't even know what that is. Josie Scott, I think, was also on the song, but I don't know. Was I don't know if Josie was like a singer. I've always seen that, but I I only hear Chad's voice huh. in my head. Nickelback must have been like, you got to be shitting me, dude. I know. Like it's a Nickelback song. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. like your 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 singer goes solo and it's just Oh, more. from the band Saliva. Oh, oh. Hell yeah. Click click boom. Yeah. Click, click, boom. Yeah, yeah, Does yeah, that yeah. make it cooler? That song's Fuck very no. good. <laughs> Makes it ten times I worse. I love that right? song though. Just tell people you got late to saliva now. <laughs> like Josie Scott. Josie Scott. The guy's a walking lip ring. Oh my or god. Eyebrow ring. That's so rather. funny. I had lip an eyebrow ring. ring. Did you have a lip ring too? I had two lip rings. When I met her, she did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I think lip rings are hot. Yeah, they're cool. Time, and, time a and a place. There's a yeah. time and a place. Did you have one? I think you can outgrow yeah. the lip ring. Yeah, Nose for ring. sure. I had my, I had the septum. Oh, you well, had the septum. But I straight up looked like a lesbian. Oh. My first piercing yeah. was the eyebrow barbell, though, and that was pretty embarrassing to admit right now. Oh. I, I had Rosie O'Donnell hair in a in a oh my full god. ring, and it was not a flattering look. <laughs> yeah, not good. Fix it up. Oh my god, I need pictures. Did you have a belly ring? I still have one. Oh. Mine fell out on Runyon Canyon shortly after my 30th birthday, and I was like, this is the universe time being to grow like, up. it's time, babe. I like a belly ring. No, I, like I do, too. I like the nose ring, you know. I could still shove something through there, I think. I had it for I 15 sure, I'm sure you can. I can. <laughs> Get me a little wet and reckless, and you Featuring can shove Josie it. Scott. <laughs> Featuring Josie Scott. Featuring Josie Scott. Just a little saliva. Gross. Oh, my God. Gross. Okay, wait. The last thing I wanted to chat about before we wrap up, because I could just talk to you guys forever. Donald oh, Sutherland are we doing died. Something? Yeah, no. <laughs> we haven't started recording. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I thought we were catching up. <laughs> we're just catching up. Hold on. Wait, Do <laughs> Donald Sutherland Rest died. Rest in peace. Yeah. Hours ago. Hours ago. As far as the public knows. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah, rest in peace, I man. love him. Legendary uh, invasion, uh, invasion of the Body Snatchers. Yeah. Oh. That's yes. like the scariest thing oh, ever. Oh, so good. Eric does that to me to scare me. Because it freaks so me scary. out every time. Uh, it's so scary. Have you ever seen uh, Don't Look Now? It's a horror movie he did in the seventies. No, and it's like it's like a it's kind of a drama, like a horror movie, but it's like just depressing the whole time. And yeah. It's about this father and mother who lose their child. Yeah, Ooh. and the whole movie he's like like psychological psychologically drama. Yeah, it yeah. fucks him up. Blah blah blah, uh, and at the end he in the background there's this other subplot going on on the TV, yeah. on the news. So while you're watching this tragic story about these people losing their kid. In the background in the city, there's like a serial killer happening, but they never pay full attention to it. Right. Yeah. And spoiler alert, I, I probably won't watch it, but yeah. <laughs> at the end of this movie, he like thinks he sees his kid in his rain jacket, and he's like, Bobby, or whatever his name is, he's chasing him, chases this kid down, and they end up like under a bridge or in a dark alleyway or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, son, son, and he like, grabs this person on the shoulders, and it turns around, and it's this little like four foot woman who like looks like a gnome, and she just <gasps> goes, and takes out a razor blade and just slits his Oh, oh my and the whole, god! And it's just like, what the fuck is happening? It's called Don't Look Now. Whoa. Sorry for spoiler Ooh. alerts, but this whole movie, like, what a depressing movie, and this shit's going on in the background, and then, and then it's you're just, just like, fucked up. And then and it, yeah, and at the very end, they fucking converge, and you're just like, what the fuck just happened? Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, it's oh crazy. my god! That, crazy I awesome Mitch movie. Has seen that. It's sounds, a great movie. Sounds up Mitch's alley. Yeah, it's you, fucked. That sounds fucked. Also. My man spawned Keith or something. Oh, which yeah. Is, Love. That, I've been, every time I see a Christmas tree in public, I try to jump on it now. You ever seen that video of Keith, Keith or Sutherland? No. <laughs> he, did a, he did a documentary where he went on the road with a band. Yeah. He's like, I love this band. So I'm going on tour with you. And the band's like, all right, Keith or Sutherland. Like, like, all right. Yeah. He just liked them so much. He's like, I'm going on tour with you. And oh, like, my okay. God. 
And at one point they're interviewing him and he's like in a mall and there's like a 10 foot Christmas tree and like Christmas season in the mall. Yeah. And they're interviewing him and he's like, check this out. And he gets up from the interview and he just runs and tackles it in the middle of a mall and just slams Amazing. it in the middle of a mall. So when oh I was a kid, God. me and my friend John Nichols, shout out to John Nichols, would just constantly tackle Christmas trees wherever we went. Dude, oh, that's so it. funny. Yeah. Pain in the ass shit, but like, you know. I love it. <laughs> I fucking love that. Yeah, but what else was Donald in recent? Was he in anything recently? Mm. He's in a ton of shit. But. I just always think of him as like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah. Oh, that's what we were talking yeah. about. Yes. The movie better than the show. Movie better than the show, I think. I haven't no. seen either. I love the movie. The movie was campy. The show was not. The yeah. show was like trying to so be do you like. Think cool. I should watch the movie before the show, or should I? You don't need to. They're totally. They're. <laughs> you don't need to. Like, are they not good? <laughs> no, it's great. I okay. love it, but you don't need to. As in, like, they're not related. They. The totally. Oh, I thought you meant don't watch. Like, no, no, you don't no, need to watch apples them. and oranges. It is apples and oranges. They're tonally, they are so different. Okay. Like the the movie. Oh, but oh, Luke Perry's also in the recipes. R.I.P. Oh. And doesn't he? I think he has a soul patch but he still looks hot and yeah. he has like his he's a cool guy he's like a goat he's like a vampire eventually he, or he, spoilers no he well and david arquette's in it yes. and david arquette turns into the vampire the movie's better than the show yeah i think the movie is a million times better there's Look. more content for the show so i'm sure there's diehard cw fans yes. or whatever that love that shit yes. more girls yes but as a standalone movie great movie so good Badass. so fun like 90 minutes in and out i want to watch it it's super fun tonight Tonight. tonight, please let me oh, know. Yeah. I'll watch it tonight. Let me know. We did a. I rewatched it a few years ago and did like a full recap episode of it. It's yeah, so. I'll send good. you my review and you could splice it into. Oh episode. yes, I will. I'll <laughs> let you guys know what her review is. I'll put it in the comments. Well, I've been seeing some really fucking R.I.P. Bad Paul movies. Rubens as well. Oh, oh vampire! Shit. Yes, also. That, so many. And Hillary Swank, Barry the lead. Oh my much. God, she yeah. plays one of the ditzy friends. Whoa, there's so many people in that movie. There's so many. I haven't watched it in over a decade it's, at least. You, I, I'm so excited for you to read watch it because yeah. rewatching it also my dad's what like best friend plays the basketball coach and that oh, really which, yeah yeah <laughs> Crazy. He's, he has a small role shout but, out like, to dad best friend playing the basketball Mark coach DiCarlo. <laughs> um justine rolls up with her little buffy the vampire movie crew jacket i know yeah. i'm like <laughs> no big deal you guys i wouldn't be surprised <laughs> um it's such a good movie though i love it it's cool yeah it's good and luke perry what i love though is because he's supposed to not be hot in the first part of the movie so they just brush his hair down. oh my god and then he gets like a hot makeover at the and end they swoop it up swoop yeah <laughs> You're like, oh, it was Luke Perry. Oh my I god, no it's idea. Luke Perry. Oh, he's hot again. I thought Thank it was just god. a fucking loser. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's equivalent to what they did to girls in the 90s where they like put of glasses course. on her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was so well, good. The best example of that was uh, Can't Buy Me Love with Patrick Dempsey. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm so sorry. And then at the end, he's like mowing the lawn, and everyone's like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Or anytime they've made it, like uh, the movie with Sandra Bullock where she's supposed to be like the nerdy love potion number nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like got like frizzy hair and glasses. And Same then with they... Princess Diaries. Oh, totally. Before we wrap up, you had a movie that you wanted to There's talk about. There's just something about. I really want to get off my chest. Please do. This is the place for it. We were trying to have a very nice night at home. I just cooked a nice meal. And we wanted to settle down and watch a movie. And we turned to Netflix. Um which has become less than a reliable source for movies recently. And there's a movie on there that I Google and the rating, the audience score is like 98% and the Rotten Tomatoes score by the critics is like also 98 or 97%. And we were like, oh, this must be a good Home movie. Run. It's a, no. it's a comedy and let's check it out. This must be a great movie. It's getting both sides, critics and audience scores very, very high. Dirty grandpa. It's dirty. No. <laughs> it's a movie called Hitman. Okay. And it's supposed to be showcasing. Like it came Who, out like last in week. It? It's like this newer yeah. actor that he's like, people are saying he's like the next Brad Pitt, which is not fucking true. Uh, and he's, I'm assuming he's like a character actor just based off of this movie. But let me tell you, when I say that this is the worst movie I've ever seen. Really? Even comparing it to Dirty Grandpa. This is the worst movie I've ever seen in my fucking life. And it has like the highest score in Rotten Tomatoes right now and is being pegged as like the mo the the comedy of the summer. Oh, Hitman. It's with Glenn Powell. Glenn Powell. I do love Glenn Powell. It's so If that movie bad. came in at 40 percent, I'd be like, understood. But really? the fact that the ratings were so 97, high, I'm blown 98%. away. So, okay, so you guys, I, you can't trust it's Glenn Powell. Thank you. I, and I do believe that Glenn Powell is not the next Brad Pitt, but I do think he could be the next Tom Cruise. I think he's got that movie star charm, 
But I haven't I seen don't Hitman. like him. It, I haven't seen it Hitman. It felt like a showcase for him. Yeah. Because he's him playing a bunch of characters as a Hitman. Oh. Um, and like there's moments where it's like it looks well and like you understand what they're trying to do, but like it's not funny. Okay. It's, there's not a single time that I laughed. The storyline is could have been written in 30 seconds. Yeah. It's terrible. I haven't seen it, so I can't fully speak to it. You'll have to, to watch it tonight. I'll watch. I'll get really stoned and watch I'll it. watch Buffy and you okay, watch Okay, great. That. And we'll exchange notes. I have to tell you guys, though, when I stopped having faith in Rotten Tomatoes is when the new season of True Detective came out because I don't know if you I guys- I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. You guys. I wasted a no, week of my fa- fucking Fargo. life. That was Fargo. Oh, that was sweetie. Fargo? Oh, I hate it. I haven't seen. I've only seen the first season. Okay, of True Detective. and the first season of True Detective it's is awesome. oh, wait. so fucking good. Yeah. You're talking about the one with uh, Jodie Foster. Yes. Oh, we haven't seen that. Ah. Oh. oh, we tried to watch. We no. tried. No, we did. We did. It was not good. Not good. Oh, it at was the end. Really, oh, the, yes. the ending was like. You just gaslit me. Um, it was really bad. It was bad. It was I, really bad. Did we watch the whole thing? Yes, we didn't finish it because I said I'm not wasting any more of my fucking time. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so Mitch and I continued to hate watch it because it was funny because it was so, like at one point they cut to it's a like shot. like all the blue light and it's Jodie Foster. Like, like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought the like, I just thought the characters weren't well. Like, first of all, Jodie Foster and the other cop, like they're like very similar character. They're not, if, when you have it's a It's not buddy, well developed characters it, or a storyline at all. We watched just, like four episodes. It, three or four episodes and I said I'm not watching it anymore it just felt so different too it felt like Creature from La Bl- Black Lagoon why did it get such high ratings it was like I. that's the thing though is it had higher ratings than season one of True which Detective which is crazy literally season one had like 90 something this had slightly higher ratings and that's when I was like fuck this this is insane I can't it wasn't remember. even engaging I just think that it was like so different and not even the creator of true detective like he was liking negative tweets and stuff wow. about it and then i guess the showrunner went on did you guys hear about this cuz there were a bunch of people who had given it on the audience score bad reviews and i think the showrunner oh he bitched on twitter or something she bitched oh. she went on twitter and was like can you please go on and give some reviews some some toxic fanboys went on and it's like yeah. first of all the rating was like 70 percent. that's not low enough to be considered review bomb i would say you know 70 I mean? is okay 70, like leave I it get. at 70 because at least it looks artistic exactly like and jodie foster is an oh, she's incredible a great actress. actress i'm not n- negating I just, that i didn't think the writing was good i thought the no. writing was really bad yeah. there were certain parts like at one point it cut to an evidence closet and it just had a box that said i don't even meth. think i made it that way that literally far, meth yeah. like it said yeah. meth like written in like Crayon? sharpie yeah, yeah, yeah. It, like it looked like an snl skit you know what i mean and so i didn't love that and when i went online i was like what am i missing here and the ratings are literally higher than the first season oh of my Detective. god my only theory on that is the the middle season sucked so bad yeah that they were like oh we're back baby but I'll, when it ended, though, I was just like, what a lame. I'm like, going to be ender. honest. I'll take the two middle seasons. I Wait, seen them, yeah. Season three, I thought was pretty good. No. I know the Vince Vaughn one is like generally known as like not good at all, really bad. Yeah. But the the one with um, Stephen Dorff and um, uh, Maher- is it Mahersh? Mahershala? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think they, they are so good in it. I thought season three was really good. Fair enough, yeah. And I actually started with that one. I was watching with. Mitch because he loved he loved the first one yeah the first one was fantastic yeah and so we watched season three together and then I watched season one and I was like oh my god that one long shot there's one shot in season one of like Matthew McConaughey like doing a raid and it's like a 20 minute long single shot and it is so impressive from a filmmaking standpoint and I think everything about that show it's like just like filmmaking I want to rewatch season one it's so good and then to go to this season like four which is just feels like it's just a cw it felt like cw does Supernatural. that's what I, yeah, yeah exactly that's what i felt about the fargo some of the bad fargo seasons did you oh, ever get into fargo i love fargo but i fell off like after season three maybe season two is my favorite i do love season, season one's two. my second favorite it's two with Chris, Chris, kirsten, kirsten Dunst. Dunst. yeah yes. okay season two is the best yeah i like two season one is fantastic with season my boy one. and one's it. really good too love billy bob i know the lead love girl bob. from that too um yeah the lead cop yeah 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 she's cool she's great and then it's like the middle ones get a little lame and then people are like raving about the latest one with John Hamm and I honestly I enjoyed it to a point but again I felt like the writing was 
pandering and sloppy and yeah. like a lot of it didn't make sense because they were trying to drive home it was like a cw it was like they were like driving home too many like social points that it was just like it lost the effect of the story just to be like Girl, and trust me i'm like a huge feminist like yeah, i yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. i stand that shit like crazy yeah but the whole storyline felt like well i'm a girl and i can do it too and it and i love that but it ruined the whole when it's forced when you, I, it it felt, yeah. it's you, you could you could feel it as yeah. a viewer you're making me feel like you think i'm stupid that i'm not understanding that you're like piling it on right it could have been so much smoother they could have just made her badass without like any of that yeah context with it did you see it the i didn't see the newest uh season i really liked it until they started powering that into Th that's you that's the thing you know? like there's no new it's just like hit there's you no over nuance. the head that's what i'm it, saying you know there's so many elegant ways to get that across it's been done numerous times yes. in television and cinema yes and it felt very much like it was almost like they added it last minute. Like yeah. they were like, oh, no, no, no. We really got to hype this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We really got to get to them. <gasps> Wait, like, can we talk about how bad the cops were in season four of True Detective, though? Like the cop. I think that's the only one I haven't seen. Or no, see oh, 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 the one we're talking about. I, I really only watched like two episodes, but the, dude. It's, they're in like the horrible first, police, In though. the first couple episodes, they're yeah. literally like, they're like, sticking you know the guys are all naked and frozen together and they're yeah. like f one oh, of them yeah. breaks an arm <laughs> off no, i'm like oh and then later they have someone yeah, come but in. cops are fucking stupid so it's okay yeah they need a doc they need someone to do like an autopsy and they don't they can't find a doctor and they bring in a vet instead oh my like, god it's just like what it's so bad well now i kind of want to watch it just to go in and hate watch it because I, I think i went in thinking it was going to be like ultimate television yeah. and i got so pissed that i stopped watching so it. so if i go to hate watch it th so that's a, right away like out the gate i was like this is going to be bad yeah like and i immediately flipped to hate uh, watch and then it became fun sure fair enough yeah we watched we started a pretty cool show um dark matter with yeah. jennifer connelly it's like hmm. kind of sci-fi um and like this physicist like has this box where he can go to different dimensions and oh. like it's it's kind of cool like we've liked that and then we started this other one with jake gyllenhaal called um presumed innocent oh. where he's that new yeah it's very oh, new keep, it's like hulu or amazon or something, it's right? uh yeah. apple these are apple. both it keeps apple popping up on my playstation so yeah it, wait yeah. i have a really good new one too that i'm yes, obsessed with please it's hbo it's called phantasmus oh it's, oh, it's with so good. um who's in it his name is Julio. Oh, Julio, Julio Torres. Yeah, yeah, Torres. Yeah, yeah. I love him. I, Julio Torres. I know Brandy he's, he's it's a, a comic. It's amazing. He's. I had never known who he was until I watched. He's brilliant. An episode of this, and then I went back and watched uh, Los Spookies. Los Spookies. Have you seen his movie? Uh, I have not yet, but I'm planning on watching that soon. Yeah. I'm like recently very obsessed with him. He's great. Just the way he does, like it's so very artsy without it being yes artsy. Yes. And it's very engaging, and it's very weird, and it's very odd. But again, it's not hit you over the head with it. It's that subtle, like yes, it it makes that kind of artsy hipsterness for everyone. Yes in a way that's not punishing and yeah. or over your head or maybe something I won't understand. Yeah. It's like very I love it. It's yeah. so weird. He's cool. so weird and I love I love him. him. He and I Weird in the best way, I mean. Like I really love him. He and I did like um we tested for a show that we both ended up working on but we didn't work together. But he I remember thinking in the chemistry test he was so funny and he mentioned I remember Tilda Swint Swinton and then I think in his stand up he had a bit about Tilda Swinton and then cut to his movie. Um he has he's which he wrote and directed, which is so dope, and Tilda Swinton fucking stars in it. I wanna watch awesome. that. Actually, Isn't that maybe cool? we'll watch that tonight after oh my crotch yeah maybe we'll watch that tonight <laughs> after buffy crotch shot it's weird but it's fun and it's like what you're I saying like that like though. it's really it's like fantasy in a yes. way it's artsy and it's weird but in a way that phantasmus it makes it like uh it makes it like a fantasy sort of i don't know like another almost like another an alternate reality where like these weird things they're not so far out of reach but they're weird enough that it's right. not realistic right but it's just so graspable it's so cool yeah. i really like it oh i'll have to check it out it's what's it real, on uh hbo okay cool it's really cool awesome well, this like hour and a half flew by. Whoa! I know it's almost four. I can only tell it's been that long because I have to pee so bad. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> well, let's get you to pee. We don't want you to get too wet and reckless here. <laughs> War. What is it good for? <laughs> <laughs> Where can everyone find you guys? Uh, you can follow Eric uh, Meth, Meth Syndicate, Syndicate yeah. at, at Meth Syndicate. 
on yeah, Instagram. Twitter is Meth Syndicate sixty nine because I got locked out of my first one. Oh shit! Yeah. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Merlennial. Love- and I'm just a uh, Merlennial on Instagram, but it's private, so good luck. Yeah, best of luck. And we have a <laughs> podcast? podcast that we work on here and there, but we've been very busy. But stay in school podcast on all platforms yeah. and cool. YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, and come see our show monthly at the Comedy Store. Yeah, Comedy yeah. Jam. It's usually in the twenties. Comedy twenties. Yeah, yeah, I know. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah. And shimmy, shimmy, yeah. Uh, we give away weed. We give away Meth Syndicate shirts. We give away lots of goodies, mm-hmm. and it's a good time. Oh, yeah. uh, you guys, thank you for being on. Thank, thank you for tuning you. in. Always a pleasure. Thank you for having us. Yes. Uh, watch Buffy report back. Yes. We'll you s- watch Dirty Grandpa. <laughs> oh my God, I totally will get so stoned and be texting you guys the play by play tonight. No, watch uh, Hitman. Oh, Hitman. It's way worse. Okay, great. I'll watch Hitman. It's I less offensive, but way worse. Okay, so somehow great. more offensive. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome.